think that um, particularly looking at um, uh, where you have um, opportunities in, in cities as the world population becomes more, more urbanized, over the couple, past couple of years, um, the uh, world uh, population, um, we hit a landmark in that the, um, the world population is now majority um, urban. We're located in urban uh, uh, conglomerates. So um, I think that for the next 50 years or so, that's where our opportunities and challenges around the environment and um, sort of for the green, green fields are going to be around cities, and um, I say that not only with what we see here in the U.S., but also, you know, in an international sense. And so, uh, I think that the U.N. I, I understand the U.N. projects of the next 40 years for the population in urban centers to more than double. I mean, there's no way that um, you can like you don't have to look very far to know where the the, the issues around. Um, you know, energy consumption and, and um, transformation, this sort of thing, um, where those challenges will be. So um, I think that, that for, for people looking for those challenges, they don't have to look very far beyond, you know, the cities and the populations that live in those cities, and, um, and particularly infrastructure and uh, ways in which to influence um, the, the uh, the flow of energy through through cities, and I think that's that's the key is to look at it in terms of a, you know, that big picture, and you'll find the opportunities are are everywhere. <laughs>